a fundamental problem for communicating an architectural design is that architecture is a 3D art, but it must be communicated with 2D images. The communication problem is daunting. Architecture relies upon the contributions of dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of people, all of whom must be aligned with the same vision. Line drawings of orthographic projections are the basic tool for the depiction. The fundamental idea is that of the section. A picture plane is established and points on the design are projected along lines perpendicular, orthogonal to the picture plane. The picture plane can be anywhere in space. When it is horizontal, we refer to the section as a plan. When the picture plane is vertical, we refer to the picture plane as an elevation. Otherwise, it is just a section, and the location of the plane must be clearly indicated. Revit provides several editors. The specific building on a specific site is defined using the project editor. As most people starting in architecture think of architecture in this way, using the project editor is a good starting point. Let's create a new project. Under the Models panel, choose New. You will have to choose a template to define the discipline-specific behavior of Revit and default settings. Choose the architectural one. The project editor has a familiar Windows layout of menus across the top. By default, it has several panels. At this moment, notice the project browser, which contains a list of views of the model, a list of sheets, and a list of element types that are available or in use in the project. Also notice the Properties browser. Whatever object in Revit that is currently selected, the properties that define that object are displayed. Different kinds of objects have different properties. Many properties can be edited. In fact, the list of properties itself may be extended by creating new parameters. By default, the view itself is the object that is selected. Most new users to Revit look at this layout and start exploring the menus and options. That is a good way to start, but the following videos will present a more guided way to learn and use Revit as an architect.